I guess my final question, because we are running out of time, is, is there a happy ending here, you know, to all this? Can we, can we meet this demand? I mean, AI, the demand, the demand levels are so extraordinary. And, and so, you know, we used to plot along on the amount of energy that we needed at, at some kind of measurable pace that we could predict. I'm not even confident in the predictions right now uh, of, of what the demand is going to be. And it, to some people, it gets a little scary. I mean, I feel very hopeful. I mean, when I see the deployment of, you know, when I see when I see countries realizing they need to have an all of the above approach. And I think despite the rhetoric that we're hearing from this administration, I think, you know, behind closed doors, it's an all of the above approach. I feel very hopeful. You know, I'm very excited about, you know, the support we're seeing around, you know, kind of deregulation to sort of accelerate permitting, you know, the focus on, you know, the recognition that we do need to upgrade the grids, the fact that they did extend the tax credits for the solar space, you know, that they're, um, you know, that we're seeing, you know, kind of innovative ways of, of, of meeting demand. And, and I think at a growing appreciation for energy efficiency technologies that help us, you know, that basically stop wasting energy and, 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 you know, kind of making sure that, that, you know, that we only use the energy that, that we need, which doesn't mean that anybody's standard of living goes lower or that it's affected in a negative way. But, you know, there's just so many ways that, that, you know, that, that we can manage our energy use better. 